This is a very exciting program and unique in many aspects, beyond the, a full scholarship, uh, fully covered. The students will actually be in a situation where they can join very exciting projects. I'll give you some examples. We have a new project in collaboration with a prominent professor at UC Berkeley in chemistry, which is about uh, discovering new materials through artificial intelligence techniques. So this is a project that mixes computer vision, natural language processing, and of course material science, which is the object matter. And this is an example of interdisciplinarity and also the fact that we're collaborating with prominent universities and professors across the world. Another example is, of course, the Smart Health Center, which was uh, uh, recently launched with uh, generous support from Veen Group. This is a, also a very exciting project. And so as a PhD student, you're able to join these projects. It's usually interdisciplinary, so it's not just computer science for itself, but it's computer science and artificial intelligence to actually advance the agenda and impact problems, uh, you know, have an impact on problems that have a societal scale. So, uh, and that are relevant to Vietnam. So we're doing a mix of both research and application. And we have a number of uh, exciting application areas, for instance, in digital health, in tourism, in devices that we're working on with various partners, whether it be in the hospitals or industry or our overseas university partners. As like, for instance, uh, Cornell, University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, and some Australian universities, they've all got internationally recognized computer science and engineering programs. In our faculty, you have uh, Professor Ray Bruntin, who is a very prominent scholar in machine learning. You have experts in cryptography and security. And all these experts, they publish in top uh, venues such as NeurIPS or ICML in the machine learning world. Myself, I, I, you know, I have a lot of experience and scholarship in optimization, and we're building that capacity. We're collaborating with the top of the cream. I mentioned Professor Yagi from UC Berkeley in material science. There's others at Cornell, at UIUC, that have the same level of expertise and, and scholarship. The facilities here, of course, I think are excellent. The rooms, the places where the staff can be, and the compute facilities, they're all, they're all up to the task. I'd like to end these remarks with a question for you. You know, a PhD is really the start of a career, and it's a start that can lead you to academia or industry, but really when you choose a PhD program, ask yourself, where are you gonna go next? Vinyuni is a startup, and really when you take these steps, always think ahead. I think that when you are finished, the type of experience and the people you have worked with count a lot more in a PhD program than the name. When people try to hire you and interview either for a job in academia or industry, they will look at your work. They will look at with who have you published. Did you publish in good venues? And it's not a given that because you join a, a top brand name that you will be nurtured and that you will strive.